What is up guys and gals, welcome back to Stanswich and welcome to episode number 13 of my Come Learn With Me series. Um, last time we made this sink that looks pretty nice, at least in my opinion, hopefully y'all think so too. And then we started this bathtub and so hopefully we're going to finish the bathtub of this episode and maybe work on some other things. But one thing I'm going to do real quick is move this bathtub outside of our uh, bathroom and we're going to start uh, adding stuff to it. So, first thing that I want to do, hmm, I haven't actually really thought about this much, as you can tell. What I wanted to do, I think, is this. So, I'm going to have straight walls on the side, on the long side at first. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm imagining what this is going to look like. So, we have this. I'm gonna round the ends, kind of like what I did with the toilet, how I rounded the, the front and the back. So I'm gonna do that. And so let's let's get those corners done. And then I'm gonna add like a cylinder to the top, kind of like this, as like a little like like an edge. You'll, you'll see what I mean. It'll be it'll be clear here in a little bit of time, hopefully. Not too long, but in some amount of time. <laughs> I know that isn't very, you know, descriptive, but all will be revealed eventually. Okay, I like that. That looks good. Let's throw another one. Right there. Throw that there. And then, no, it's too far. Okay. And then let's throw the block in. Um... I don't know how like wide I need to make this piece, but let's just like put it in the in the correct plane first. Okay, I need to make it one longer. Okay, that looks good. I like that. All right, now that we have that, we're going to copy, paste it, bring it over here, rotate it, bring that right there. Is it inside? Okay, it is. Ooh, perfect. So we wanted... Okay, this is going to be the fun part, though. Because I want to, like, scale this up to where it's, like, the same height. But we're going to have to, like, figure a way to, like, hollow the bathtub out. That's the wrong one. There we go. Because you obviously don't want that in the corner. So, we're going to have to figure that out. But... I think it looks good so far. Like, honestly for the for bathtub like i said we gotta figure a way to like hollow out the inside or we add stuff to it to kind of maybe we don't need to hollow it out maybe like that's good i feel like that's honestly i think that looks pretty good let me anchor everything because as you know i love to not anchor stuff i'm gonna go look at what it looks like size wise i think it i think it could work one thing I do want to add, which I'm going to do right now, is a seat. I'm going to add a seat. Um, let's see what this looks like, direction-wise, obviously. I never remember like which way it orients. I think I need to rotate it twice. Oh, no. It's correct. Okay. Um, let's see. Um... Let's see. Um, let me drop it down a little bit. Um, hmm. And then I want to rotate it. This is like one degree. <laughs> I think I I think when I start rotating this, it'll literally yep. There we go. Uh, let's, let's see what that looks like. I'm making pretty fast progress though, which is nice. That's what I like. Okay, I need to definitely angle this like a lot more. I also think I need to make like the walls of the bathtub a bit higher. Yeah, I need to do that. Okay. Let's move everything up. Uh, 
on this thing. I don't know if I need to do two, but we're gonna do two. And then also rotate it even more. Okay. Let's see how this looks. That's that's good. That's better. <laughs> My walls are, or not my walls, my hands are going through the walls, but I like the look of it. I think it looks good for now. Why don't you scoot it back just a little bit, just like your head's kind of resting on the back. So let's do that. Any bad things, I can't just like move it. I guess I can actually. Um, Let's do this. You need to go into positive x direction. Let's do like 12. It might be too much, but you never know until, you know, you go into the game and look. So let's do that. Ooh, it's actually, it actually like perfect, so... We're not using like, the front half of the, bath, half of the bathtub, but it's whatever. I'll move it a bit forward. 11.8. Not 1.8, I'm going to put 11.8. There we go. Let's try that. A little small adjustment, but should help a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now let's add some water to it, because why not? Also, seat. Transparency 100. There we go. All right, let's add the water. Um, let's choose the color. I like this color. It's a lot darker, though, when it's in the game, though. Mm. I like that foil look. It kind of looks like water. If you disagree with me, that's fine. <laughs> You're not the one designing the bet, though. Okay, I like that a lot. And now, I'm selecting the right part. Okay. Um, behavior. What does my bed have? I'm trying to remember. Okay, okay it's the collide, like aspect. Okay. There we go. Anchor it. Um. What happens if I? Where is it? Union it all together. Oh wow, okay, I don't want to do that. I want to eat everything but the water, if I can. I think that was the water I deselected. Why does it do this to, like, the edges? I don't get that. They're like, hmm, unions are weird, man. Does it look different when I go in-game? I doubt it, but... Yeah, it doesn't. Why does it do that, then? That's weird. When does it do that? If I take this out and then union it, will that change anything? Also, it's gonna make the. Uh... You know, I'm just gonna leave it. I think I'm just gonna leave it not as a union. But that is the bathtub, so let's group it all together. Bathtub. It definitely took a lot less time than I thought it was. I could have made it a lot more fancy looking. Oh, there was that one thing I actually wanted to add that I was talking about. I don't know if I should I still. I, I'll I'll still do it actually. I think. Um. Uh, nah. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I guess the bathtub's gonna be eternally filled with water. Also, I, never, I realized I never added like a spout to it, so. We need the, the usual. <laughs> What's this one's Z position? 33.5, alright. Same with this one. There we go. Let's bring this down a little bit and then bring this down as well. Can I like scale this maybe? No, nope, that's all that scaling does. You know what, whatever, we're gonna leave it. Should I kinda... I did not mean to like move that, oops. Okay, 
Okay, and now let's move everything. No, nope, I want to grab the thing I literally just copied. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay, well... Let's do this at 34. Maybe. Let's see. I'm trying to see how these ones were. 0.275 more. Okay. So this one at 0.675. Nope. Wait, what? Oh, shoot. This needs to be point two. So, okay. I'm dumb. This is at 32.5. So this needs to be at 33. Even. And then this needs to be at. What's. <laughs> Let me open up my phone real quick so I can do some math. 33 minus 0 0.275, 32.7, or er, yeah, 0 0.725. Here we go. Um, pressure probably also recolor like the bathtub. Um, let's see. Brick color. Wait, wait, what part? What is this? Oh, where's, where's the inside of the, oh, it's this part, okay. Alright, we want every part but that then, so let's deselect that. Hmm, I kind of like this dark color for this bathtub, honestly, and the water, so that looks good. Um, what are all these parts? So these, all that stuff. Okay, it is. And let's drag it into the bathtub. There we go. That's huge. And everything's together. Everything's anchored. So I do want to add down. Maybe like a shower curtain kind of rod going around it. Hmm. I think that'd be good. First, we're going to put little like wall mounts up. I suppose. Wait, level the wall. So it's centered on that. Okay, there you go. Let's scale it. Can we still center that? Why can't we center it? It's like way too wide <laughs> to be uh what's it called? There we go, now it's centered, okay. So this should be in the same X. It is, let's go. And I guess it's not any copy things, they just like go to like really weird spots. Okay, it seems to be in the same Z position, so 31, and then same Y position as well, so 21. There we go. Um, hmm. This part's gonna be fun, kinda. Hmm. Should I just do a sphere and just kinda throw it at the end, maybe? Can I do that? Okay, I need it halfway between these two spots, I'm pretty sure. So that'd be 0.75. I don't know why things spawn in in like weird... What's it called? Oh, that looks perfect, duh. It's a, yeah, that's what I wanted, a rounded edge. Why didn't I think about doing that earlier? I think there's something else I need to do for that. Or I could use the... the cylinder, but... 
Yeah, that's what I wanted. But like like I said, I go with certain things spawn in on weird intervals as far as its position, like what causes that. But that's that's that looks perfect. Um, I didn't like really make it like equidistant from like the edge, so to speak. Because like, what's like the z distance from this to? It's one. Okay, is it one from here to here? No, it is not. Thirty-three point five. This be thirty-four point five then. Oh wait, wrong. Was I looking at the wrong variable? I was, of course. Negative six point seven five. Negative five point seven five. Okay, it is. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong variable, duh. Sorry about the loud car. If you can hear that outside. Um. I don't know how to make an actual like shower curtain rod. I don't have the. I don't think I have the skills for that, sadly. But oh no, the shower curtain itself, not the shower curtain rod. I just made the shower curtain rod. But let's group all that together and name it such. Uh, caps lock on. That's cool. Um, I can make like a fake rod or shark shower curtain that you know doesn't move. I guess. Let's do that for now. Cause why not? <laughs> what was the expositioning of this one? Like, yeah. Why did why did this rod spawn in a weird position? I I would love to know like the answer for that. We wanted to like not go all the way to the floor, but there's that. Let's do another one. Um. Bring it in one. There we go. And this one I know is misaligned as well. Yep. I just want to know why that happened. <laughs> is it because I copy and paste it, maybe? And also, what's the height? What the heck? the heck is going on? Oh, it was like, I deselected everything. Or like, wasn't able to select anything. Okay. That looks good. Make it like slightly transparent, just because that's how you know shower curtains usually are. And then, hmm. it's a nice color. And then, hmm, should I like add hooks, kind of? I feel like I should, of some sort, or rings, I guess, would be the more, more appropriate term. So we have to, what the heck, wrong one. Mm, is that good? I think that's good. I think this is on, no, this is on a weird, weird interval as well, what the heck. Why? Why does he keep doing this to me, man? Is it because of like where I'm looking at somehow? Is that is that affecting it? Like, bro, this is on point five one. Why is why is that the case? <laughs> like it, it makes zero sense. Why is that why is that a thing? Is this okay, that's not correct. 
axis actually no it's too small I guess also do with like the scale of the item you're looking at or working with it's like a big thing but it's I don't know. Is there a way to make it to where, like, as you, as you size things down, it, like, stays inside that, or, like, I don't know, stays in the same axes? I think this looks good, though, for the, the shower current hooks. I just need to bring this up, copy and paste it, bring it up against it. Size it down just a little bit, obviously. Maybe around like a 0.65 for each. I think that looks good. Can this piece go any thinner? No, it can't. Okay, well. Maybe I should make it thinner. Let me do that. Yep, there you go. I want this part. I'm extend it through. Negate. Grab this part if I can. Union them and make some rings. There we go. All right, that looks good. They're definitely not like actually. <laughs> Act. Hold up. If I anchor these two pieces together, theoretically speaking, would they hit this bar if I anchored it, which I almost forgot to do? Would it just hit against it? Would it actually f like fly, so to speak? Or like, would it be held up by that one part? But could it experience gravity? I don't think so. Sadly, no. Cause it's like anchor like it won't move but hmm if I unanchor then but I somehow ooh if I weld them together I want to try that okay it's not gonna be anchored neither of these pieces are gonna be anchored but when it sucks both of them I'm going to weld them I think I just welded them I did Okay, let's try this. Is it an actual movable? <gasps> it moves. I keep actually sitting in. But I do want to make it so you can like go through the shower curtain though, so it's not like super useful, I suppose. But I think it's a cool addition, nonetheless. Okay, let's. Let's make like a bunch of these real quick and throw them on. I want to like, I want to make them like kind of equidistant apart from each other. If I can. Okay, let's look at this one. Where's this one at? X direction. We're going to make this an even 13. It'll make it easy. This is going to be at a nice, I might just do one like every, nah, every 1.5. Nope, that's the wrong direction. He's be at 11.5. Um, and then this one needs to be at 10, flat. And then this one needs to be at 8.5. And then this one needs to be at seven. They're pretty close to where they need to be, just a little, bit, little off. Okay, now that the equidistant, let's go. Could I maybe fit another one in here? Because this one's at seven, so that'd be at 5.5. .5. No, we can't, sadly. Dang it. That's dumb. Oops. <laughs> Let's move this one. Can we put it at six? Will that work? Oh, 
wrong axis, duh. 35.5 work. No, it would not. Well, we're going to leave it right there then. Thirty five right there, and then can we do another one? Because why not? This would be at thirty one. Wait, no, can I not count? I need you at thirty two, duh. There we go, it's perfect. Okay, that works. All right. Can collide, can collide. I love like randomly moving stuff that I didn't mean to like even touch. <laughs> okay, show welds. I'm just welding all these together real quick. There we go. Hmm. Thinking about like a final part, kind of. I guess I could have just been clicking this. It automatically does it. Um, I think I want to union these two pieces together. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Might have a working shower curtain, kind of. Where the heck did it go? I think somehow it took off to the moon. <laughs> Let's see. Um, let me try not um, <laughs> welding them together or sep unionizing. Let's see if that wants to work or if they're still going to disappear into the void. Mm, maybe, I need to, maybe I'll need to weld like one of them. <laughs> Um, why can I not see the welds? What the heck? What happened to all the welds? Hmm. Okay, let's, let's just weld one of these. Let's see what that does. Let's just do the middle one to its respective uh, shower curtain rod. Okay, it's still there, but that one's like rotating. So I need to do. I think. I think I need to do two, two different welds. Let's let's do it on this one and then this one. Let's see if that like throws it. So I feel like a weld should just kind of keep it equidistant. Okay, that looks that looks good. I like that. But then this one disappears. Like, where does it go? What is not... What is it not like, I guess, is what I'm trying to ask. <laughs> what is what is the game doing? Why isn't the game... Uh... Are we going to try the same thing for this one? Here. Can touch. Let's well, do to see if that makes it to where they don't touch each other. Kind of. I think that's what that means. Because now they're both here, and but I can still interact with them somehow. Oh, it's because I hit the metal rod or ring. I don't know what the ring was. <laughs> um, should I anchor these rings? I feel like I should. No, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I don't know how I just managed to like select everything in the house from the bathroom. But let's anchor these. Hopefully that doesn't, you know, throw everything th to the moon. Okay. Can these stay still? I don't know if the the curtains could still technically move if they could like rotate, but I, I'm gonna assume they can. But we're in a bathtub, so 
I think that's that's good enough, man. We anchored everything too that needed to be anchored, so that's a success. And it's a 30 minute video, so I'm gonna end it here. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. I definitely did. The bathtub took a lot less time than I thought it would, but everything else took a bit longer. Um, the curtain rod definitely came out a lot better than I thought it was. I, I didn't think I'd. <laughs> My biggest issue was making this corner, and then I just solved it just by putting, you know, a cylinder or not a cylinder, a sphere at the end of the two cylinders to make it a rounded corner. So that's nice. Little little shower curtain. <laughs> Um, maybe a bit too transparent, but, <laughs> um, I like it. There's water in the tub. We're fully clothed in the bathtub as well, which, you know, is normal behavior for anybody taking a bath, but the bathroom's definitely coming together. I think we're kind of done. Maybe add some decoration, some, something on the wall, some love, laugh, love, um, type of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, um, regardless, hopefully you all enjoyed that and I'll catch you next time. So peace out.